Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of modulation. And in the next lectures, we'll be discussing different types of modulations in detail, guys. Okay? Yes. So modulation is nothing but modulation is a process of varying one or more property of a periodic waveform called a carrier signal with a modulation signal typically called as information to be transferred. Okay? So I understood that you got nothing from this definition, right? Yes. So that is the reason why I have just drawn a small diagram, guys. So that every one of us can understand easily. Right? Yes. So assume that you want to send a particular message or a data from your device to some other device. Okay. So we'll be saying that the signal will be sent to the radio waves will be sent and all those things, right? So every time you'll be getting a doubt that so how do these signals will get transferred? So what is the back end? Is there anything which a human can understand easily? So you'll be having these kind of doubts, right? So basically few things will be really complex for us to understand, but few things are easy, right? So this modulation concept is a bit easy to understand guys. Okay. Yes. So now let us concentrate for two minutes. It will be clear for you. Okay. So the message signal. So basically the message of whichever we want to send could be of an analog type or of a digital type guys. Okay. So this signal. If you combine with a carrier signal, so basically assume this carrier signal as your, as a box or a delivery boy you say. So basically this will carry this signal and convert it into a signal and it will send it in the medium. So this concept is a nothing but modulation. So your message signal combined with carrier signal produces a modulated signal. So this signal will be transmitted in the air. And once this signal is received, again this signal is, is mapped or is multiplied with the carrier signal to get the original message. Right? So that concept is nothing but demodulation. Got it? Yes. Okay? Yes. So digital data cannot be sent here. So it is first converted into analog to transmit it. So basically I told you if we want to send these data, right? So basically these data, the digital data cannot be sent guys so this data is also converted into analog okay yes okay so in our syllabus we are only having three types of digital modulation those are nothing but ask fsk psk that is nothing but amplitude shift keying frequency shift keying phase shift keying so if you recall these words seems to be a bit resemble right so we discussed about the frequency multiplexing code division and all those things right so these also look similar so here amplitude some operation is done on amplitude here some operation is done on frequency here some operation is done on the face so yes you are correct so basically these are some hints you can understand okay yes so we'll be discussing about each of them in detail so don't worry about it okay yes so now i hope everyone got some basic idea about modulation right okay so for more clarity i have just drawn some block diagrams guys okay yes so modulation and demodulation process so initially our digital data will be sent into digital modulator guys okay so basically this modulator goal is to convert this digital signal into analog that's it so that is nothing but convert converter you can say guys in simple words okay yes so this converter will convert it guys so it converted into this signal this is an analog signal you can say okay so now you are pushing it into an analog modulate modulation so basically here this signal is combined with the radio carrier so basically here we took the example of a radio transmitter and radio receiver okay so it will be combined with the carrier signal and produced and is released from the antenna okay so this signal is collected by the receiver antenna on the other side and this signal will be passed to analog demodulizer with the input of both the output which we got here and the input of radio carrier the same radio carrier to get the original signal then the original signal is passed to the digital mod digital demodulizer you can say and you will be getting the output as our data so if you observe we got the same data it is just written that's it guys there is nothing hidden in it okay yes so basically the data will be converted into digital see i'll be writing digital to analog analog with the carrier produces our signal and once this signal is received it will be combined with the carrier signal to get the analog signal again that analog will be converted into digital so the exact flow i have told guys okay yes 
okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea right so if a question is asked like how modulators works how demodulators process work sorry demodulation process works you can just uh, draw these two block diagrams you can say and you can just explain in your own words guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this modulation process so the main word which you should remember is nothing but the carrier signal guys because we always remember the message signal so you can easily remember this message concept but most of the time we will be forgetting about this carrier signal only right yes so remember that word okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this so in the next lecture we will be discussing about amplitude as well as a frequency shift keying guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching